Good afternoon. This is Jody. I'm in Central Ohio, and I'm going to review the Campco Olympian Wave 3 catalytic heater and make this video more succinct. I'm currently at my condo, and I thought I would do a test run before I go camping or traveling. Now, you can use any size tank up to 20 pounds. The Department of Transportation allows a person to carry 20 pound tank, one of them, in your vehicle while moving. So I have the Campco 10 foot hose that came with, that's recommended for these Wave products. And you don't need a filter because uh, it's made for the catalytic heater and it has a low pressure regulator. I've got it hooked up to my U-Haul trailer hitch I had installed last month. It was about $500 and that included the hitch installation and the plug. I love these collapsible Clever Made milk crates. I got three of them for about $62. I also have sudsy water in that simple green bottle. You want to make sure when you before you when you turn on the gas that you spray around the connections to see if you have any bubbles. Highly recommend at least one side window. This one was installed at Cascade by a Grass Valley installer. It was like $400 a window. Gives you about three inches and the door is completely shut. And you also should crack your front windows at least an inch on each side. You can install rain gutters so when it's raining or snowing like this, it, the snow won't get into your camper. Now sideways, it shouldn't get any snow in, but we'll find out here in a minute. Look how beautiful it is snowing here. About our fourth snow. We've gotten a lot of snow this year in Ohio. Okay, so inside the camper, um, I already have the Olympian Wave 3 turned on. These are little legs. And right now it is a toasty 55 degrees. And I highly recommend that you get this 3-in-1 lithium battery. It is a fire detector, carbon monoxide detector, and a thermostat. And I just Velcroed it up there. The other thing I didn't show you in the other video is this Cavan clip-on USB fan. It's pretty quiet, and once it's powered, you don't even need your cord. Uh, it just runs on its own, and the head swivels. It won't hurt you, and you can turn it, and it's a variable speed. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. It gives you nice circulation. I've got my vents open. See, if you turn on the fan at low speed, it's not very noisy. So people that are really concerned for safety, that's what I highly recommend is to get that cross flow. Now, like I said, I already turned on the heater because I wanted to get it nice and toasty. And let's see, if we turn off the lights, you can probably see it glowing better. There you go. And how you start it, there's three settings. The start button, which gets your gas and your pilot light on, low setting, and high setting. So you turn it on start, and you hold in the button, and with your left hand, you push this red starter button. It's a Piazio electronic starter. It will last, like, I think 20,000 starts. You can also see the brass elbow. You really need to have that bend of that hose coming in. Now, like I said, you push the button in, turn the gas, light the pilot, and then you wait for about 30 seconds until it kind of lights up. And it's kind of hard to see, but once you see the rug or what they call the, the carpet uh, lighting up, then you turn it to high. And the manual says you should have it on high at least 10 minutes, and then you can turn it down to low setting. But let me tell you, if it's 30 degrees and lower, you want to keep it on high. Um, it's very warm to the touch right now. I've had it on for about 30 minutes. I can keep my hand there briefly. Um, it's got enough side clearance and you can push it all the way back to where the um, side walls are. It's not even, it's just a little warm back here and on top, all, you know, it's warm. Um, so what this is going to cost you is about $345 for everything. The legs are not included. The hose is not included. So with the, the unit itself, I got on Camping World because it's out of stock on Amazon. 
So $345 for the heater legs, the elbow and the hose and the cover that I didn't talk about yet. Olympian covers and this keeps the dust off your catalytic heater. It's got elastic. It's about $21. But like I said, $345 for everything. Now the Buddy you can use, but it only has one setting and that's uh, 3,800 BTUs. And if you see that one pound propane canister, that will, if you have it screwed into the Buddy, last about four to five hours. Now, if you use a hose, it's the same four to five hours per pound on the high setting of the Buddy, uh, 3,800. On the Olympian, the high setting is 3,000, which is 800 BTUs less. So you're probably gonna get five hours per pound on the high setting and about 10 on the 1600 BTU setting. So I hope this helps uh, try to make the video more succinct and I hope you have a nice day.